inside an airspeed indicator. Here we have an airspeed indicator in its case. This is where the total pressure, pitot pressure, is fed in. This is where the static pressure is fed in, into the case. Now the, the glass front is normally screwed on by these eight screws. So two there, two, one there, one there, and so on around. Two on each side. And the, case, the, the front bezel comes off. There's the glass and a rubber sealing ring to make it airtight. And then the mechanism comes out. The mechanism is held into the case by one little brass nut that fits on there. There's the brass nut. So that's, that holds it together through the central uh, brass fitting on the pitot inlet. That's how it's held, how the mechanism is held in the case. So here we see the copper aneroid capsule that uh, takes the pitot pressure and that capsule expands and through linkages moves the needle. So if I just lift, lift that you can see the needle moves as that copper circular aneroid capsule expands. Let's see if we can simulate it by me inflating it. all it takes a small movement a small expansion of that aneroid capsule and the fine linkages will move the needle lots of adjustments for various things Very tiny, very tiny rack and pinion arrangement that actually moves the needle. So that's how it works inside an airspeed indicator.